Well, Nietzsche, who's considered one of the greatest philosophers of the 20th century, he didn't talk about split-brain theory as such, but he did say that there are two separate ways that human brain, human beings look at things. Okay, one of which he called Apollonian, and the other is Dionysian. Now, the Apollonian way really corresponds to the left brain way of looking at the world. And essentially what that is, is seeing the world as a collection of separate objects and individuals. But the Dionysian way is to see the world not as a collection of individual things, but as one thing, one thing made up of this, all these intimately interconnected parts. So it's not, the forest is not just one tree, two trees, three trees, you know, some leaves, some twigs. The forest is this whole single entity in which every part is part of a cycle, okay? But rather than a cycle, I think you could visualize it as a flow because it doesn't always come back to the same place like a cycle does. I mean, there's an element to that. But if looked at all together, the whole thing is much more like a flow, like a river, okay? And the thing that most people forget is that we are actually part of the river. You see, the left brain is telling us, no, 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 we're separate from all that. The right brain knows, because the right brain is the part of us which is connected with nature. The right brain knows we're actually part of the flow, we're not separate from it. We can only be separate from it in our imagination, you know? You know, nature is art. We're as much a part of it as the trees, the birds, the stars, everything else. You know? And I think you yourself said the other night, you know, very pertinently, that, you know, we're made of the same stuff as the stars. I thought that was beautiful, you know? We are stardust. And you were saying the same thing in a much more economical way, actually. We are part of that flow. We are not separate. But the difficulty is we're brought up to believe that we're separate. The whole of our education system, the whole of our social conditioning is geared to this idea that we are, we are somehow separate from nature. And therefore, since we are not part of it, it's perfectly okay to destroy it.